Hi guys, I'm Mommy Very Many. I am mom to 14 children. 12 of those children are still at home. And um, we just did a very small grocery shop today, but then we also went to the thrift store and we got the, some free things, which I will share with you, um, <clears throat> that were just free on the side of the road. So we picked those up. So let's go see what we got. So here are some free things that we got off the side of the road. She has a little rocking chair and it's like an outside folding up rocking chair and then she is sitting on this lovely picnic table this is just stuff that we found literally on the side of the road with free signs on it and then the last thing that we just got was this cool bike looks so nice um it needs a little bit of air in the tires inside and see what we got today so just a couple groceries here this is from Walmart I got um, two of the white and then two of the red I also have red and white balloons that I need to find somewhere this is going to be for an upcoming birthday party um, and then I got some peppers I need these to go with some of my canning projects because I don't have enough peppers um, on the branches and that type of stuff so um we have a cabinet that needed locking and part of it was broken so i got these locks and then this new like lock type system and i'm hoping that will work for what i have going on there these were at the register for six dollars and i wanted to use these with some of my middle and younger kids to help them with numbers and colors these are the pants. My husband's very particular about pants. Um, these are the pants that my husband wears for work and they were on sale. So originally $27.97 and um, down to $19. So I got him two pairs of those. And then a half and half watermelon. The kids were like, oh, watermelon. So I got a watermelon. Um, these two sour creams were actually um, cheaper than buying the big sour cream and then a bunch of grapes we're gonna have a bunch of um, other types of fruits and vegetables but we actually already have those between the garden and stuff um, I just the kids were asking for um, watermelon and I thought the grapes look good and I was hungry and I should have eaten before I went in the grocery store and I didn't so I bought four bags of grapes okay so we also went to a thrift store the other day I was driving by not the normal thrift store that I go to um, the other another thrift store that's on like the main street I was driving by there and I saw a fill a bag for five dollars so I was like ooh um, but it was closed the other day when I went to stop in so um, today I went to see if that place was open and it was. So I'll show you what I got. Okay, so I got this book, all the books for 50 cents and a lot of the recipes um, that I like to, paleo recipes are definitely within things that we eat because they're grain free. I'm not necessarily like, I do not eat 100% paleo but all of their recipes would fit in the way that we eat, if that makes sense. And then this game was really kind of cool. It was kind of expensive. It was $3. I know that's silly to say that it's kind of expensive, but it looked like it had barely ever been used. It still had the plastic in here. And <clears throat> I think this would be a good game to use with some of the younger kids. Um, I like to get things that might actually teach them something and that's one of the ways that they learn things. So I will show you what I have in here. Okay, so we got these shoes. They look actually really comfortable. I, try, I tried them on and they are too big for me, unfortunately, because I would totally wear these. Um, but I thought that my daughter might be interested in them and it was fill a bag with clothes or shoes for um, $5 per brown bag. <clears throat> We are always needing muck boots, like always needing muck boots. So I will grab these, I grab these and I will put them in the tote for next spring probably because in the fall a lot of times we just go directly from um, needing sneakers into needing like winter boots. But in the spring we definitely need muck boots, like totally need muck boots. Okay, so let's see what else we got. Some things I got thinking of people and some things I just thought, well, if one person doesn't like it, then somebody else might like it. So here's a skirt. 
And then another skirt. I'm hoping that my stuff's gonna upload because I'm having an issue with my computer. This is for boys. Um, I think I got two pairs, maybe three pairs, I don't know. I don't know what we got because it was me and my, um, my daughter was also helping me. Um, my daughter who's 22, so she got some things as well. Just some leggings. Another skirt. You can actually pack so much in a bag. It's like less than a dollar an item. Shirt. So I had most of the kids, the baby stayed home with my 20 and 19 year old. But other than that, everyone else was with us and we went to the thrift store and Walmart and then we also did some foraging, which if you have not been keeping up on the Every Bit Counts Challenge, all that will be over there. Um, we got a ton of apples. Um, we also picked some blackberries today. We took the apples from two or three different spots. Okay, two different spots. So yeah, it was fun. We got a lot done, cute little shirt. Various shapes and sizes. Most of the stuff that we got were for um, girls. <clears throat> it's kind of funny. I didn't plan on going in the store, so my children were wearing play clothes because we thought that we were going to be going out to like pick apples and stuff. So their clothes that they were wearing were so dirty. I was like, okay. They were like nasty clothes. I was like, yeah, it looks like we really need clothes. Um, but I actually, I want my kids to be able to play hard and I am completely okay with my children getting messy. Like they get messy. I buy things at thrift stores, they use it, they wear it well. And um, I wait for sales like this where it's fill a bag and then I just let them be kids. I don't worry about, oh, you're gonna get that dirty or you're gonna get that dirty. It's just um, a cute little outfit for the baby. It's um, like pajamas. And then leggings. So they are allowed to be dirty kids. Around the house, they are very dirty. And then we have going out clothes and um, which are clean and neat and you know, you wouldn't think that they just like ran in mud puddles like five minutes before they put those on. You know, kids are meant to get dirty. I'm not gonna worry about a little bit of dirt. I used to freak out when I was younger, like, oh, people are gonna see my kids dirty. Um, they're gonna think I'm not taking care of them, but really, if I see dirty kids a lot of times, if they look, I mean, obviously, if they look malnourished and whatever, like that might be different as well, but overall, Usually dirty kids mean that they were having fun, especially this time of year. Okay, so that was one, that was all one bag. That was only one bag. So that would have been $5. So far we're at the $3 plus the 50 cents. Total here I spent was um, 13 dollars 50 Boys pants. I got five pairs of socks for a son who says that he has plenty of socks, but has holes in like every pair of his plenty of socks. So those will make his the way into there. More leggings. Leggings, all sizes. So if you haven't been here before, I have six younger children. Well, my six youngest children are 11 and under, and they're all girls. Um, and then, all together, we have 10 girls and two boys at home. So there's lots of girly stuff in here and not so much boy stuff. But um, the little girls, usually what I can do because they're in most sizes at some point, if something is a girl size and it looks in good condition, most of the time I'll just pick it up. So I don't really have to, th I don't really have to think about, oh, what size is that? Um, I just usually pick it up because we usually have somebody in that size. But my two-year-old, my five-year-old, and my seven-year-old can actually all wear the same. Sorry, my card was full. So um, yeah, we tend to just um, share some clothes. I have a skirt that's um, a red skirt 
and the shirt that I had that would go with it. The skirt is really comfortable, but the shirt I had that would go with it, it's red and white, and um, the shirt I had to go with it is really getting tight on me, so I figured that one of these would work for that. I'm going back to um, eating gluten-free. I had kind of got off of that for a couple months and I definitely can feel it. Not only in like my body shape, um, my belly is just like really bloated and fat. That's my body shape difference. Um, but not only that, but also just I feel really sluggish. I feel tired. I know that I'm busy. I know that I'm doing a bunch of stuff. But I just overall, I wake up in the morning and I still feel tired. Um, I got this. I thought this was cute for church or whatever. <clears throat> so I really am trying to switch that back over to gluten-free because I felt so much better. Also, my eczema did a lot better on gluten-free. It wasn't, even if I had eczema, because the dog just came in the house. Even if... Um, she smells like everything that's going on in here. Even if I, um, yeah, I totally just lost that. I have no clue what I was saying, but I'm going gluten-free again and bringing my family gluten-free again, which I think will work okay. I know that other kids were having some issues and it was just like mentally, I couldn't deal with like doing everything gluten-free for the period that we were like, going camping and that type of stuff. I needed just quick and easy and to work it like that. But you will see that change coming. I'm going to try to do some, I thought this was pretty. Um, I'm gonna try to do some gluten-free sourdough. I have never done gluten-free sourdough. I've done regular sourdough. Um, but I would like to do gluten-free sourdough. I just watched a movie last night. I watched most of a movie last night. I should not say I watched the whole thing. I think it was called, I think it was a movie off of the book called Wheat Belly or something like that. And it was really interesting actually. That's for my husband. My husband never used to wear used clothes. He's like, I'm not wearing something that somebody else wore. And I'm like, okay, somebody else probably tried your new one on in the store anyway. Um, so now, if it's something that he would actually wear and on a regular basis, and I wash it first, then he's fine with it, which is so exciting. So I just tried to get tops that kind of were loose. Like, I didn't want it, like, sucking in on my belly. Before, my t-shirts and stuff that I had were looser. I would rather... Um, for me, I feel most modest if things don't, like cup completely around my top and then like or tight here I'd rather have something that kind of just comes here and then goes straight down um, that's just how I feel most modest and when things aren't that way then I feel uncomfortable in my own in my own body not because of my weight or because of whatever I just feel like things are too tight on me and maybe people are seeing like too much of me and I don't really like that so this hopefully I will try a bunch of things on and then I can just get some things that are comfortable to me and my other daughter she can try some things on and decide what she likes and what she doesn't like but for fill a bag yeah I am all about that so total on this is $13.50 for all these clothes look at that massive pile that is so awesome Okay, so if you guys like videos like this, make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.